All right, this video and the next, and we will have learned all of the Hebrew independent pronouns. So let's start by reviewing the independent pronouns we've had so far. So we've learned that who is he and that he is she. We've learned that. These are the third masculine singular and third feminine singular pronouns, he and she. We've also learned the third masculine plural and third feminine plural pronouns. In English, we just say they and includes a group of men or a group of women, mixed group, doesn't matter. We just say they in English. It's simpler that way, right? But Hebrew distinguished between haim or haimo. No, not haimo. Haima. Haima. Haim. These were both re references to they, a group that had men in them. All men, partially men, some men, you know, they always went for the masculine if, if it was some men because men were more important than women in the ancient world. But anyway, um, M is for male and N is for a group of nuns. Uh, they, anyway, at least it helps me remember it. So, Haim or Hema is they referring to a group of men. And then Hain or Hena is they referring to a group of women. So, these are the third person personal pronouns. Now, in this video, we're going to finish learning the second person personal pronouns, the you, the you independent ones. And in English, we just have you. And you does all of this. You does singular, you does plural, you does men, you does women. It's easier in English. We just say you. Um, we've learned one of these, ata, uh, which is you referring to a guy. Um, we, we're going to learn the rest of them in this video, the other yous. Uh, we've also learned ani and anoki, which are uh, the first common singular. This one is used for both men and women, and it's I. So these are the these are the independent pronouns we've had so far. In this video, we're going to learn the rest of the use, and then in the last video, we'll learn what the first common plural is, how you say we. But that's the next video. For now, let's learn the second feminine singular. When I'm referring to you, and I'm talking to you, a female. So here it is, at. So ata. Ata was you, masculine. At is you, singular, feminine. Um, and I don't know, the, the pronomial suffix, you might remember the pronomial suffix um, for your uh, when it was masculine was ka. And when it was your, referring to just a, a woman, it was k. It chopped the vowel off. And so in a sense, it's the same thing here. Ata is masculine, and if you chop that final vowel off, at, you've got the feminine. I don't know if that helps you. Here, by the way, Boaz asks Ruth, you remember this is a strange scene in the book of Ruth. Boaz is a little tipsy. He's asleep. He wakes up, and there's a woman at his feet. <laughs> and, of course, feet can be a euphemism for something else. Um, but anyway, he's kind of startled. You know, he says, me, at, <laughs> uh, who are you? Um, me means who? And then at is you, feminine singular. Who are you? And she says, "I'm your. Uh, you're my next of kin. <laughs> Cover me with your <laughs> skirt." It's a very r risque scene. Uh, but anyway, this is not about the Book of Ruth or risque scenes in the Bible. The Bible is rated R in some places. Um, but we're learning at and at. Where is Ruth at? <laughs> uh, who are at? And my feet. No, at is you, referring to a, a singular woman. All right, so let's finish out this video with the second person plural. So, ata is you singular man, at is you singular woman, atem is you referring to a y'all, hey guys, hi you, you, hey you guys, you know, you'd use atem. And again, remember the, the mem for men, right? We're seeing a pattern here. At is like ata, at is like at for you woman. Put a mem on the end, a tem, and we've got y'all masculine plural group. And you can guess what the next one's, right? So if M is for men, what do we do for y'all women? It's a nun, right? Nun. A bunch of a group of nuns. So if I want to say you plural to a feminine girl uh, group, that's a ten. Very hard to find. I said this in the last video. Um, the the after the fall of Adam and Eve, it was a patriarchal world, a man's world, and women were often under the thumb of men, and it's it's hard to find much attention to y'all women, um, I, I, to find this pronoun. Anyway, um, that's 
a side note. But so ata is you masculine singular. Uh, at is you feminine singular. Atem is y'all a group of men. And aten is y'all a group of women.